Because I love you. <laughs> Do you love me? How many times will you ask me this? But you've never answered me. Look, I have told you times without number. If you are destined for me, then the gods will lead you to my heart. Can we go inside? Go inside and do what? What else would a man and a woman be doing inside if not to play? Look, Uzarima, <clears throat> you are good at this. And I thank you for bringing it the time you did. Did the charm really work? Why is he still talking tough as his old self? Are you alright? Yes. Yes. I'm fine. Ekunife. Take me in time. If you love me. Um, thanks for the food. I'm enjoying it. You do what is right, Avahila. Spirit of a healer. Strange of a tiger. Strange of a tiger. It's on the way he talks. Stranger for tiger. You can see the way he works. Here provider. He's a liar. He's a shot of the shark. Ah. Otika said something else, and what happened was the direct opposite. Does it mean Otika has no powers at all? Or does he mean he has some powers protecting him? Mwadioto, what is the meaning of this? Are you stalking me now or what? You are becoming too desperate. You're becoming too desperate to get this man that you forget he is a man of the gods. Be careful. Be careful lest you burn those your tiny looking fingers in that same fire which you set to roast those your useless yams. And what if I may ask is the meaning of this rubbish you're vomiting from your mouth? Are you insulting me? You know, the more you pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about, the more it becomes very obvious. Be careful. I like you. I like you very much. But as a friend, do not make me see you otherwise. Do you still remember the instructions given to you? I don't understand. What instructions are you talking about? Don't go astray. Always make inquiries. I don't understand. I don't know you people. Who are you? This is a warning. And I want you to retrace your steps. I am going to see a woman I love. We won't fight for you again. You trace your steps, or we flog you. First, I don't know who you are. You are blocking my way. And now, you are going to flog me.
old man. What, what if I don't walk? Gods of my ancestors. Please. If I have done anything wrong, please forgive me. Forgive me. didn't adhere to all his instructions. You chose those that pleased you and discarded the rest. He is angry. You must be very careful, else you will be destroyed. Mazimeta, what exactly have I done? your mind to task. Remember those instructions he gave you. And also try to remember those you have not done. And begin to do them immediately. He told me a lot of things before he died. Please, Mazumito, consult him. I mean, let him tell you things that I have not done or things that I have failed to observe. Peace. I have never offended you when you were alive. Why will I offend you now that you are no more? Father, why do you punish me for something I know nothing about? Why? Reveal it to me so that I apply caution. I have followed your rules your instructions. I have never gone astray, Father. Why have you turned your back against me? Why? Believe in me, Nam. Please. I am nothing without you. Forgive me, forgive me. Please. What are you talking about? Forgive me. What have you done? What is this? I, I prepared love charm for you, but but it, no. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm, I'm sorry. So, this this is where all this is 
from Get out. Go before you see me. I'm sorry, please, please. Why did I fall cheaply for this trap? Why did you refuse to follow the guards? Please look for another maiden, my prince. I do not wish to continually bring you this shame. You know my history. I have come across so many maidens before I met you. I am ready to do everything possible to ensure you get your womb back. You have spent so much on me. The money you have spent on me is enough to marry seven maidens. Am I complaining? I am ready to spend more until your womb is restored. I love you beyond words. I love you too. Ada, let's come together and overcome what is coming to us. The Obaze festival is fast approaching. You have to get married so you can retain the throne. I do not want you to lose the throne because of me. There is something more superior than the throne itself. And that is my happiness. You are my happiness. And I'm ready to do everything, everything for you to get back your home. Greetings, Ono. And I bless them my greetings. How are you? Please sit down. There will be no need for that. My mind is unsettled. What troubles you? Ono. Our inability to solve Adanwa's problem is devastating to oh, me. Oh, my prince, stop. Is this why you are here? To talk about Adonwa? Have I not told you to forget about Adonwa and send up another maiden? She is not the right woman for you. You don't understand. She's not just the right woman for me. But she is the only one for me. Oh well. I am here to tell you that I have decided to consult Agotorambe. Are you serious with what you just said? You want to consult Agua Turumbe because of this nonsense? What is wrong with you? The money you will spend consulting Agua Turumbe can marry 20 maidens for a man. Why would you want to spend that kind of money on a dumb one? Because of what? When there are other options? Stop, please. You can't do anything like that. My late father told you about my happiness. That I have to always enjoy your happiness? Yes, I remember that. But did he tell you that making an impossible decision is part of your happiness?
something more superior than the throne itself. And that is my happiness. You are my happiness. I am ready to lose everything and gain you. He's very nice to me. Why can't I just have him? Considering his proposal is one thing, actually allowing him to have a taste of your womanhood is another. Do not try it. Mm. Please, for your own good, do not try it too. <laughs> Someone from our family tried it a long time ago with a man from Abagana and it ended in total disaster. You are very precious to us. Too precious to let you waste away like that. Please, always remember that. I am right here for you. Greetings. Daughter of the moon. I am the shine of the shine. Shine of the shine. Greetings. Sorry. <laughs> The place asks us to bring these items to you. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't hear you coming. Thank you for bringing these. Are you alright? Uh, I feel like I may be having Iba. Sorry about that. Do we inform the prince? No. I'll be alright. Okay. We'll be leaving now. Please, let the prince know that I shall visit the palace when the sun goes down. My name is Oponku. You, you don't know me. You see what you people are doing to me move. in this land. A day will come when you regret this. When the truth will come, no finally. Problem. You will suffer from this. So be it, Oponku. I am telling you. So be it. Okay. Let your blood be on our heads. Um, please. You must confess or we will set you ablaze. Why are you pulling up Oponku like someone who just killed somebody? Ask them again. Did you hear what he said? Mahila, I was in my hut. I just came back. I wanted to rest. These people came. They knocked. I came out. They didn't even allow me to say a word. They started beating me. Look at my body. They maltreated me like a son of a nobody. Shut up! I should shut up. Shut up! You will experience more beating when the truth must have been known. Remember you are in front of the healer. Um, please. Great men of our land. Speak to me in the language that I would understand. What happened? We have been looking for two of our goods since two days now. We couldn't find them. So we decided to conduct the search. Only for us to find a pot of goat meat pepper soup in the bush near Okonku's house. He ate the pot of pepper soup there because he knew we would search his house. If it was around my house, what would happen? You found a, a pot of goat pepper soup around my house. You tagged me a thief. What for? You're still lying. Shut up, Mahila. With due Shut respect, up. With due respect, let me learn. Mahila will do respect. A pot of good pepper soup can be found anywhere in Umu Akadiyane. Anywhere around the bush in this kingdom. Shut up. Aponko, I said, shut up. Who doesn't know you in this village as a thief? You stole our goat and used them in making pepper soup. We know this because the pot we found is yours. It's my pot, you are sure? Even your yes. neighbors confirmed it. Okay. We are go. Obongo. Did you take their goats? Mahila, let me be open. Let it not look as if I am talking too much. I hate goat meat. This is the truth. 
from when I was born till now, I have never tasted good meat in my life. Uncle, the smell alone is a very big problem to me. How can I steal a goat I don't eat? Is it possible, Mahila? Very well then. Please, excuse me. You ate goat meat. Oh, you! You are begging me. You don't like goat meat. You are begging me too. You! Silence! Honor and his brother come forward. Both of you stretch forth your hand to the edge of the sleeves. If you and your brother are falsely accusing our uncle of theft, then you will not be able to tear the sleeves. But if the reverse be the case, then you will. Now, Step backward. Oponku. Mahila. Step forward. You can watch him, Kaiba. Oponku. Mahila. If they are lying against you, let the gods vindicate you. He said, stretch forth your hands to the tip of the sleeves. If you are innocent of this accusation, then the sleeves will not tear. But if you're not, then it will tear. Now, Cool. What you asking me to do is a difficult task. Otabike. This simple task is now a difficult task for you. Otabike, I've known you for years. Mm -hmm. I just give you a simple task and it is now a difficult one for you. Otabike is my name. Of course I know. Making impossible things possible is what I'm known for. You have to pay. How much are we talking about? Okala Bego. Half bag of money. Okay. I'll give you. I want the shame that the people of Umar Kadeani give to me. I want it to end today. It is too much on me. I can't bear it anymore. What shame up uncle? The one that gets me angry is whatever that gets missing in this Umar Kadeani. They will call Abongo. Abongo did this. Oh. Obongo did. I am tired. If they take me to any suit say, anybody that they will find the truth from, let everybody go blind. That is my, that is what I want you to do for me and you must do it. The I will give you them even more than the money. Arrange the money. Why are you uneasy, Obongo? Why are there goosebumps on your body? Were you trying to dare the spirits of my father with your cheap charm? Mahila, I am sorry. Otabaike disappointed me. I stole the goods. I sold one off to the women of Wangulu Kingdom and I made a very good pepper soup. Hey, please! 
you will lay no hands on him. Step back! Yeah, go. Now speak. Oh, Bongo. I am very disappointed in you. How could you kill a whole goat and eat it all by yourself? I'm sorry. I'm not the one doing this. There are spirits in me that are doing it. I'm sorry. I will pay for the two goats. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Great Ila of our land, please do not listen to this thief. He has a way of making people feel pity for him. You have done your part by making him confess. We have to take him to the village square now. Come on, 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 Things like this keep coming up every day, but what shall we do? We will continue to render help to people. Hmm. I used to think we had thieves in my land. But from what I have just seen and heard, the thieves in our land are learners. <laughs> How can a man single-handedly kill a goat, skin it, Cook and eat it without his neighbors noticing. And eat alone. The thieves in our land are learners. I, I, I want to know, but please, please. Are we going to wait here all day for you? Can't you do anything? Um, I'll go to Rombe. What are they saying? This is strange and inexplicable. For the very first time in my life, I am seeing a problem that has no visible solution. Um, <clears throat> I go to Rumbe. You, you, you can't say that. I, I mean, this is the maiden I've chosen to become the next queen of this land. There has to be a solution to this problem. Then you will have to locate the man. A woman with a solution. I have no solution to her problem. And you charge the, the kind of amount you charge? Seriously? Do you know how much you pay to bring you here? And you're saying you have no solution? And because you spent a fortune to bring me here, I must solve what I have no clue as how to solve. Be mindful of your words, Onohu. Or you do what? No, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I mean, why you are dressing that way? Put that nonsense at me. Oh, no. Look at this man. Oh, no. Who is this man? Oh, please, please, please. Take it easy. It, it is all my fault. You, you warned me, but I wouldn't listen. I go to Rambe. Can't you do something? I mean, anything. Just, just do something, okay? I'm ready to pay you more. There is a man of Omakadiani, a man of the gods, who inherited a powerful mantle of healing from the Father. He is the one that to solve this problem. I got to number. Are you sure of what you are saying or are you planning to waste our time further? Go to Makadan. Ask of a popular healer called Ekunife Okunka. He is the one that will solve this problem. Go to my ancestors! 
Why are you punishing me this way? What have I done? Why is there no solution to my problem or why? Why? Why did my birth have to be on the dot of the full moon? When you knew, you knew I would never know peace. Both of you, go to Umwakadiani Kingdom and fetch me the healer. Tell him the Prince of Umulili Kingdom is ready to pay whatever amount to get into my kingdom. Go. I am made for you. I am waiting for you. Daughter of the moon. I am right here for you. Get me a don't want. Yes, Daughter of the moon. I am the son of the shy. The son of the lion. I am waiting for you. What's the meaning of this? If only you will rise above your stupidity and come with me, then I will take you to him. And he will forgive you. What do you mean by that? Are you going to continue acting like you don't know what I'm talking about? If that is what you're going to do, then I will let you wallow in your stupidity. Why do you throw it? Greetings. Greetings. The prince wishes to speak with you now. Tell the prince I said he has done enough to demonstrate his love for me, but I, I cannot continue to bring further shame to him. You don't understand. Are you not coming with me? No. I am not. Snatch the back. She's holding. Who is speaking? What is it? Why? Why, why did you snatch my bag? I'm sorry. But the voice said I should take it away from you. Let's go and see the prince. A voice? What voice? I don't know. But he was very clear. He said I should grab the bag. Hey, it could be the voice of the late king. You never can tell. The late king may have decided to step in from the dead and solve the problem. Let's go see the prince. And when did you start going around the kingdom with a rope in your bag? I'm sorry, my prince. I feel bad for all the embarrassments my problem is, is causing you. Am I complaining? I know you love me, my prince. But sincerely, I feel unworthy of all the sacrifices you're making just to ensure my womb comes back to me. Did I complain to you? Did I? So you wanted to hang yourself? Oh, that would have been worse. Now you have given me enough reason not to let you off my sight until the solution is found. 
I cannot live here with you, my prince, if that is what you're implying. We're not married. Yet. There are enough rooms in the palace. I am sorry. But you stay in here until the solution is found. My mother's sister Mbanugo will kill me if she hears what you're saying. And where can I find her? Why? I need to talk to her. Where can I find her? Greetings. Who are you and what is the reason for this intrusion? We are not intruders. We are here in peace. We are guards from the palace of Umolili Kingdom. I see. No wonder your faces are not familiar. Please, come and sit down. We will be fine standing. I am sorry that does not work for me. You came all the way from Umolili Kingdom down to Mwakadiani Kingdom. Down to my house to see me. Tradition demands that I offer you at least cola. And I cannot do that while you are standing. So please, come and sit down. Thank you. Please, don't bother about the cola. We are here on the instructions of the Prince of Umolili. The woman he wishes to marry has a problem that none of our healers have been able to solve. I see. The solution follows identification. Has the problem been identified? Yes, but it has not been solved. And that is why we are here. Her womb is still with the moon. Many diviners have been consulted, but none have been able to provide solution to the problem. One of the diviners directed our prince to you, and he asked us to come and bring you. Hmm. It's a very big problem. I need to consult my ancestors before embarking on such a mission. Are you saying you will not come with us to see the prince? Exactly what I am trying to make you to understand. I would have to consult my ancestors, ask for their approval before embarking on such a journey. Go back and tell your prince what I have just said. I am not going to ask you not to do what you have decided. But please, be gone. If she must remain here, do not even attempt to set eyes on a womanhood. I have no such plans. I am keeping her here to protect her from further attempt to harm herself. You said that already. And I heard you clearly. I am just trying to explain things so that you do not fall victim. One Adan Wine, our family, tried it long ago with a man from Abagana and it did not end well. I do not want you to make the same mistake. No such thing will happen. I have made arrangements for her to be housed in my mother's room. She will be comfortable in the palace. She will definitely become my wife. It's only a matter of time. Ozemen, I need you to accompany me to Umolili Kingdom. Ah, what business do you have in Umolili? The Prince of Umolili invited me to come restore the womb of his wife to be. I don't understand. Restore the womb? How? The maiden is possessed by the spirit of the moon. And as we speak, it has a womb. Ah, that's 
serious? Huh? How do you want a man of no power like me to accompany you on such a deadly mission? No, no, no. What if the spirit leaves her and enters me? It will yeah. not enter you. The spirit of the moon is for women and spirit of the sun for men. Uh, the sun and the moon are like brothers. I can't accompany you to such a dangerous mission. Jose Mena, nothing would happen to you. My spirit wants me to go with somebody and there is no other person in my mind other than you. Come with me. I, I, I will go with you on one condition. Name it. Uh, that you, you give me give me this speed on your neck. This this one. You want this? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> To beat. Are you satisfied? You have given me more reason to be scared of you. <coughs> Are you coming with me or not? Huh? Is anybody home? Is anybody home? of Okunka, Anukeni, the greatest healer of my time. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you. Odu Modu, Mount Daily. That is my name. The masquerade of the night. Come on, it's sit been down. a while. Greetings. Let me get the cola. Thank you. Oh, please do not worry about cola. Uh, come and sit down. Why are you looking for someone to accompany you to Molele Kingdom? <laughs> Mazime to my good friend. Surely you have become a spirit. You now see what people do in secret. I am impressed. I want someone to accompany me to Molele. Of course, I need someone to go with. I see. But listen. It is your journey to greatness. And it is a journey you must embark on alone. The gods are watching over you. And I am in a position to tell you that. Hmm. Um, Mazmito. Can you please explain this greatness to me? Hmm. I, I see you rising above your mates. The gods will continue to direct your steps. You may go now. They are tired of waiting. <laughs> you see, this is the problem I have with our people. Give them little power and it gets into their heads. I don't know why you would set him like that. I mean, where is this coming from? I'm talking about the man from uh, uh, Umu Akadiani that was recommended to me. What about him? What does it take a serious healer to come and attend to someone? It's very clear you are becoming very disturbed. Why are you stressing your life over nothing? There is a problem as we speak. And I know I have told you what to do to solve the problem. Why are you not doing it? What did you tell me? Forget about her dumb one. I don't know what is it you said you have seen in her that you have not seen in any other. That thing as far as I'm concerned does not exist. Forget about her dumb one and settle for another. I mean, for a maiden that will give you children. That is what you need. 
And now? I'm in love with her. <sighs> you don't advise me to get married to who I am not in love with. Then I am going to tell you immediately that when it comes to marriage, I mean, when it comes to procreation, the term love is given a different interpretation entirely. Do you want me to educate you on that? No, I'm not interested in any outrageous interpretation you have for me. I will go out there and look for him myself. Hey, listen to me. At times when you speak like this, I will start to wonder if they have bewitched you. In fact, I am not happy that you have allowed yourself to be bewitched. You are the prince of this kingdom. You are the common king of this land. There are certain things you must not even dream of. What he just said now is one of them. You want to go look for who? The prince of my land? Why is it so difficult for you to see reasons with me? What reasons? I mean, why are you trying to frustrate me by twisting every word that comes out of my mouth? I have not twisted what you said because you have not said anything. What I now know is that you are under a spell. Arabale Zama, and trust me, I am going to resist that spell with everything in me. What you just said gives credence to what I said. But you are deliberately misinterpreting me just to prevent me from healing the one I love and getting married to her. You know, I am so disappointed in you that you are the one doing this. Giving me the impression that you are bewitched for real. I am very disappointed. But let me tell you the truth, Arabale Zama. This will certainly be the last time I will be discussing that dogma with you. Because as far as I'm concerned, that dogma does not exist. What you need is another maiden that will give you children. And you need to locate that maiden and marry her faster than immediately. Or else, hey, let me not say anything. I knew you would take this path, so I came to apologize to you. I did not mean to harm you. I can never do a thing like that. I love you so much that I failed to control my emotions and it became an obsession. Please, forgive me. Stand up. I forgive you. Stand up. I forgive you. Thank you, my love. Please, do not call me that. I am on a mission to Umu Lili Kingdom to savage a very bad situation that has defied the healers in that land. And I ask for the blessings of everyone in Umu Akadiani. I volunteer to go with you. I, I can go with you from here. I'm afraid that would not be necessary. Bear it in mind that I have nothing against you. If the gods want us to be together as much as you desire, then they will make a way for it. But for now, go home. Take care of yourself. I have a journey to make. A good man by every standard. Even after what I did, he still forgave me. Why can't the gods give him to me? Why are you crying? When you already know I can never leave you. I'm crying for myself. Why? You are, my, you are my mother's room already. You have every part of me now. Let's allow the girls to finish what they started. I hate that this is happening to me. Mother, it is not your fault. 
I am doing everything humanly possible to ensure we retrieve your womb back from the moon. It is a challenge that you have to face squarely with a strong heart. It saddens my heart to hear what people say to you because of my condition. It makes me feel so bad. That's why I wanted to end it. Oh, come on, come on. Don't say that, okay? Come on. Don't cry for me, okay? Put yourself together. You are a strong woman of this land. Learn to embrace any challenges that comforts you. Please. Wipe those tears. I don't want to see you cry again. Thank you. Your heart is kind. Your words are encouraging. You won't come back I am right here for you. Dodger after me. Are you seriously really meaning into that? I would be a fool not to. Mama, it was real. From now on, I am determined to find out the meaning of everything that concerns me. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the food. Of course. <laughs> you cook like a woman. <laughs> Thanks for the compliments. I was left with no choice when I lost my wife uh, than to learn how to cook. And I must say, you learned very well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you once more. Uh, let me uh, ask you, what exactly brought you to this kingdom? Oh, were you here just to heal my daughter? Well, um... It is one of them. But I actually came to restore the womb of Adonwa. Adonwa? Adonwa, Prince Sarubaleza Ma's wife to be? Well, not exactly. But that is what the people of Umolili think. I am destined to marry Adonwa. Oh, please, 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 I beg of you. Please. Don't say this rubbish to the head of the prince. Because if the prince gets to hear this, he will send the guards to kill you. Please. I have told the prince already. I have a very strong spiritual connection with Adonwa of Umoli Kingdom. And nothing can break it. <sighs> what you've just said is deep. But let me tell you that. The relationship between the prince and the Adonwa is deeper. It is only by the grace of the gods that the truth will be revealed. I heard that at this point the prince forced her to relocate to the palace. But I am not bothered because I know he is wasting his time with her. I am going to marry Adonwa of Umolili Kingdom and nothing, nothing will stop me. Well, um, in that case, this is my house. Feel very free. Make it your house also until your mission is accomplished. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, <clears throat> did you hear from Ebunife? You don't need to worry about him. Um, see, I know that Umu really is not a one-day journey. <laughs> but I'm just worried that he's staying this long. He did not just go to Umolili to restore the womb of a woman. He is there on a mission. He did not tell me anything like that. Eh? Huh? The maiden whose womb he has gone to retrieve is his destined wife. And he will not come back to Omar Kadiane without her. Ah! 
Please. Are you trying to tell us now that you not our friend? We not marry any of those maidens. Petting around him like flies, pissing on the pitching on the meat. It has been programmed by the gods. And it must come to pass. Ha! Who's the man must hear this? Huh? Sorry, I, I forgot to tell you. Where we are coming from is our village square. That is where major decisions are ratified before they become effective. Nine. Why are you showing me all around Omo Lili Kingdom? I am from Omo Akadiani. I do not belong here. And as soon as my mission here is done, I will go back to my kingdom. My dear, it's just that I wanted you to familiarize yourself with our environment. That is. What happened to her? Oh, oh, she's a blind woman, and that is her granddaughter guiding her home. Why should I stop them? Stop them. Oh, wait, wait. Please. Greetings. Yes, um, greetings, mother. Greetings. My name is Ekunifu Okunka, healer from Uma Kadiani. The gods of my fathers have decreed that you will see today. That is what I've been asking them all these years. To restore my sight, so that I can at least see Onye, my granddaughter, who has been guiding me in this kingdom, to see what she looks like, to see her. Please help me and tell them. Can you see now? Yes, I can see you. Can you see me? I can see you. Mama, I can see. You can see me. I'm going to see you. Please. Are you the one that restored my sight? Is it? May the gods be with you. Thank you. May the gods be with you. Go in peace, Nne. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mama. May the gods bless you. Mama. 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 Whatever you do, remember what your father said. Shana for a tiger, just got to be a tiger. Can't be left. Spirit of a healer, stranger for a tiger, stranger for a tiger, provider. A part of me is within this environment. How? How?
over there. Unbelievable. There is something about you that you have not told me. How am I sure you are not one of the gods manifesting in human form? I am not a god. I am Ikunife, son of Okunga, healer of Umakadian. You, you are that maiden sent to me by the gods. Are you going to resist the gods by resisting me? How dare you say such nonsense, my kingdom? Oh. You think you can use your charm on the woman that will become my wife? And the queen of this kingdom? God! My prince. Arrest him. For your own good. Do not try to touch me. I will follow you in peace. You don't challenge my orders. Get it. I said, I will follow you in peace. What do you want me to do with you? Allow me to live with the maiden that means the world to me. What you are using are magical powers. You don't have the monopoly of it. Here in my land, we have men with excess magical powers. If you don't leave my land, I will expose you to those that will kill you today. My prince, can I say something? Shut yes. up! It is either you leave my land in peace, or I'll give you to the men that will kill you today. Not so fast, my prince. If you dare maltreat the great healer of Umuakadeani, the gods will get angry with you. I advise you learn to live with your fate on time. Adonwa belongs to him. Make inquiries and the gods will open your inner eyes to see beyond the surface. You! You! You all are sick in the head! I won't tolerate this. Ekunife mwo kunka! Ekunife mwo kunka! I'm here!
Is he back? You are very stupid to have come here looking for him. After everything that I told you. Yeah? This is what man. A day is coming when you will beg for my attention and I will divert the same attention to a friend of yours that is dreaming for another. When it comes to revenge, I am very deadly. I have no conscience. Why would you lose the idea of revenge? You came to me with a proposal and I was decent enough to have given you an urgent response. So why are you thinking of revenging on me? You are a fool to expect an answer from me. Eh? You will pay for this poor judgment. I bet it. No, no, can, can we bet it? Uh, you... uh... And now that you're no more, that you want to cover the period you wasted, why are you always here? Mm. I am me, I have to live the kind of life I like. Mm. You may not understand, I don't want to live like anyone. <laughs> Your daughter, she behaves like an adult. Yes. She is smart. I don't want to tell you that it is like father, like daughter. <laughs> We've always been smart. <laughs> yes. Uh, let me ask you. What about your family? I'm an only child. And my parents are late. How then did you become a healer? My great-grandfather was a healer and he passed the mantle of healing to my grandfather. My grandfather to my father and my father to me. I see. Why is it that you don't collect money from the people you hear? <laughs> if I ever do that, then the spirit of healing will leave me. Mm. Okay. Let us assume that the prince refuses to let go. What are you going to do concerning Adam? Adama is my wife. And I must return to Makadiani with her. The gods would make it work. How they would do it, I do not know. Aguma. Yes. I think I may be having feelings for that healer. How well do you know him? A man who possesses magical powers. He's full of evil. Don't let him hypnotize you. The prince is the right man for you. A man with dignity and royalty. I know all that. But you see, something inexplicable always happened to me whenever I set eyes on that healer. Maybe he is using his evil powers to attract you to himself. You know, men can be very deceitful. You hate him. It's clear you hate him. Not just him. I hate men who try to harvest where they did not sow. Men can be very deceitful. Very well then. I can stand here and continue to read meaning 
into a simple matter. What would I do to convince her to marry the prince? What would I do? This madness has to stop. And how do you want it to stop? By paying Ada's bite price immediately. Now that her womb is back. Listen, Arubalezama. The words from that healer, from Uma Kadiana, is still very fresh in my memory. I am insisting that before you go any further with Adorwa, as things are now, that you must make inquiry. Not just from one seer, but from several seers. Oh no. But you know what's at stake? The Obaze festival is around the corner. Yes, I know. And if you fail to have a wife before the end of the deadline, you will lose the throne of Uma Kadiani. I know. But as it is now, it has gone beyond what you want as a man. The gods of different kingdoms are now involved. And I am insisting you forget about what you want, what you like as a man, and consider this angle of the gods. Angle of the gods? Oh, by the way, which gods are you talking about? The same gods that you know. Why are you pretending as if you don't know what I am talking about? A tree cannot make a forest. And a snake, seen by just one man, can be interpreted to be python. Make inquiries. And I'm insisting that you make wide inquiries on this issue before you make a deadly mistake. It is said that when a child is crying and pointing towards a particular direction, if his mother is not there, then his father is. It has been days since my friend Ekunifo Kunka embarked on a journey to Molili Kingdom and he is yet to return. I call upon you, protective spirit of my fathers, to go and pay him a visit. Direct him, protect him, save him from the hands of the enemy. May he return victorious. May he be victorious. May he be victorious. I still have a reason to believe that you are a god visiting our land in the form of the human. And why are you saying this again? <clears throat> you do practically almost everything in an unbelievable manner. Only deity can do the things you do. <laughs> because I killed this. No. I was a great hunter before my father handed the family mantle of healing to me. Honestly, I bless the gods for meeting a great man like you. We are all unique in our ways. I need to see our one now. I, I, I will advise, forget about Adonwa, because there are so many good maidens in this land that will be willing to marry a great man like you. Yes. Maidens flock around me, Numaka Diani. But Adonwa has a vital role to play in my life. Please, lead me to our house. Well, if you insist, I promise I will lead you to our house, but not now. Shut 
brighter afternoon. I am right here for you. Arebalezama, did you make the inquiry as I instructed from several seers? Yes. Good. What did they say? That I am free to marry her. And that the healer is an insincere monster who uses his magical powers to take advantage of people. Oh no, I thought as much. I doubt. I doubt you. I saw greatness and gentility in that healer from Omakadian. Hey, but who am I to sustain my doubt if what you just said came from the seers you consulted? Well, I, 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 we have no option now than to proceed to pay her bright price. When are we going? Oh no! <laughs> Arubalezama. Oh no! Arubalezama. <laughs> thank you very much. I must thank you for your immeasurable support and advice. Come to me. I am that humble, hard-working gentleman that will give you all your heart desires. I rule my world. And I have everything it takes to make you happy. I will give you everything you desire. And everyone must adore you. Come to me. What is the meaning of this? I am your destined man. Come to me. He's a cheat. Full of lies. I am that respected man of your kingdom. Come to me. To any of them and choose wisely. This is the land that determines a destiny. Go now. Daughter of the moon, I am the shine of the sun, shine of the sun. Seasons will come, seasons will go. Here in my heart is where your love is be. The hours will pass, rain will fall. But here in my heart is where I'll build you your home. Daughter of the moon, oh, I am right here for you. It was only a dream. A dream with a deep meaning. to do with this type of dream. I'm not here to listen to your stupid dreams. Your face already indicates you want to talk to me about that healer. The prince is coming tomorrow to pay your bride price. You're right. My dream is actually about the healer and the prince. Save the dreams for yourself. I am not a dream interpreter. Welcome, my prince. 
Thank you. Should I get you a chair? No, don't worry. I will be leaving shortly. Why is your face not bright? I had a bad dream last night. Don't mind her, my queen. She's fine. Uh, anyway, I came to know if you have notified your trusted friends. Yeah, we've already done that, my prince. Good. Here, take this. Buy whatever your heart desires. We already have all that we need. I think I don't... <clears throat> My friends, don't mind her. I will make sure we get everything in place. Oh, thank you very much, Agoma. You're welcome, my friends. Thank you. I don't like your mood. I'll be fine. I have to go now. I still have a lot to achieve before the sunset. Should I see you off, my prince? No, don't bother. I want to walk like a warrior. What kind of attitude did you display in front of the prince? Since when did you become my spokesperson? Should I have allowed you to talk rubbish? And who told you she wanted to say rubbish? What kind of an intruder are you? Who are you? I am Ekunife Okunka, by the gods the healer of Umakadiani. And so what? Is that how men in Umakadiani behave? Uma. Please don't mind my friend. You're welcome. Thank you. Let me offer you cola. It's so strange how you've tied my friend with your evil power. But let me tell you, you will never succeed. It's obvious you lack manners. But I will teach you some. She left in annoyance. Oh. Why is a woman not friendly with my visitors? Do not worry yourself about her. And I am not your visitor. I am that husband you have not seen in a long time. I respect you a lot. I have seen... I've seen you command a lot of powers. But I will disappoint you by telling you that the prince is coming to pay my bride price tomorrow. It is not a problem. 
Let the gods fight their battle. Did you hear her well? Loud and clear. The prince is beating the drums of war. You, you speak in parables. Don't worry. I will not be far away from you, you know why? You are my wife, and it is my duty to keep an eye on you. There is a reason your father gave you that maiden. She is going to make you greater than all the healers in your family and then pave way for your son to be greater than you. No matter the resistance, do not allow any man to marry your wife. I know who you are. You are one of the messengers my grandfather would not stop sending to me. And that is because the gods and the ancestors of Umu Akadiani have found favor with you. They shall send for you as soon as the invisible hand has administered the slap of termination. Capitalize on it and then take your wife. I shall see you when you return. great day in our family that our daughter Adonwa after a rigorous process which you sponsored from the start to finish will be married to you. Uh, I will bring her out in a short while for our father here to hand her over to you. I want to thank you I want to thank you specifically for all that you have done for our daughter. Thank you.
What's happening? Are you okay? Hey! What is going on? My prince! What are you doing? I am the priest of this land! And I'm here to marry the lady that I love. You cannot intimidate me. My priest. Show your face! Why are you snubbing me? My priest, are you okay? Actually asking me. I want him. I want him to make brother inquiries from several seers and be sure that the move had the blessing of the gods. He lied to me. He lied to me that he did. Now the ghosts have scattered everything. But, um, but oh no. Are you directly confirming that the gods of this land were actually the ones slapping the prince? It may not just be the gods of this land. I have a reason to believe that even the gods of Uma Kadiane are equally involved in this. But how? What business does my sister have with Umu Akadiani? Could it be you and other members of your family settle down to ask Adonwa some cardinal questions? It is possible you may have discovered that she prefers the healer from Umu Akadiani to the prince of our land. But there was no time to ask such a question because all of you were in a hurry to give her out to the prince. Now everything has turned out this way. I don't want to be involved. That's why I came back here. Go back to your family and do what is right. Welcome, old one. Your welcome is not necessary. It sounds like a broken drum. Why? And who are you? Men who are men never easily forget the instructions of their father. For you to have forgotten everything your father told you about this time shows me you are not a real man. Old one, maybe you should have a seat so we can talk better. I cannot sit in a house of a man who has no respect for the traditions of the old. I hope you know whose house you're in. Or did your little boy mislead you to the wrong place? Arabanez Amma, I know your voice. And it's you that I've come to see. Why are you here? I'll never say a word until the healer comes. And if he's not here before the sun goes down, doom awaits you. God. Prince, Prince, go to Wabukunye's house and fetch a healer. Tell him a certain blind man wants to see him. Yes, Prince. Prince. Sister Aliyakunife. I don't understand you at all. 
You made me believe that your future depends on your marriage with that maiden. And I come to believe you because you told me that your father specifically gave her to you. And today, she is about to get married to the prince. An event that could shatter your dream of having her as a wife. And you are sitting there here doing nothing. I had a dream last night. My ancestors revealed to me that they have completely taken care of this process. How, how is it possible? How is it possible, Ekunife? Somebody already told me that she saw the Ugene Anuka preparing for a wedding. And we are supposed to be there stopping it. Instead of being here, sitting and talking. Greetings. Greetings. What do you want here? We come in peace. The prince wants to see the healer at once. And what does he want to see me for? A blind man came to him and insists he sees you before he says a word to the prince. And what connects us with that? I mean, what concerns us with that? You should be busy at Adonwa's compound, preparing to marry another man's wife. We actually went there now, but something happened. I am certain that is why the tough-talking blind man came. Yes. Nay. I demand to know everything that happened. We implore you, let him come with us. Nay. Are you going to answer that useless call? Are you coming with me or would you rather I change my mind? It's in the way he works. He can see the way he talks. Who is this man? Why is he different from all the men I have seen in my life? What sort of a man are you? Does it mean you cannot sit down? Men of nowadays are no longer strong. I'm used to standing. I can stand the whole day. It will be nice if you introduce yourself to me. I can hear footsteps. Whose footsteps? I can sense the presence of the healer. Spirit of a healer. Welcome, the great healer. I can now see it. Hold on. First things first. You are blind. And your blindness is connected to the throne of this land. Listen to me, both of you. I don't know the games you are trying to play. I don't know this blind man. And his blindness is not connected to the throne of my father. Keep quiet. Don't say what you don't know. My blindness has everything to do with the throne. I was the personal bodyguard to the king before he died. You were not born then, so shut up. I will forever respect the gods, for they are wise. I can see 
see. I can see everybody. I can, can see. see. Yes. <laughs> I can see. Thank you. I can see everyone. You can see me? Yes. Are you not the hot tempered priest? The healer will heal you of your bad temperament today. You already said you knew my father before I was born. Tell me, what is going on here? Yes. When I heard what is going on between you and the healer, I knew it's time to revisit history. I am the happiest man on earth. What you have just done is what so many messy men have spent a lot of money to invite could not do. You restored my sight when I needed it most. But words have failed me on how to appreciate and praise you. I have carved out a large portion of land. Four cows, palm plantation, and four virgins to tell you thank you, Okuka and again. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ezembuze of Umolili Kingdom. What you have done shows you are a kind-hearted man. But I don't need them. I, I don't understand. Does it mean you did not hear everything I said? Oh, Your Majesty. I heard every word you uttered. Your Majesty, a time will come when your son shall rise to desire what my son needs to become greater than me. I want you to remind him of what I did today. So when that time will come, he will allow my son to take what is his. The earth bear me witness that I granted this request from the deepest part of my heart. Your son and my son shall not for any reason grab anything. And if peradventure it happens, someone from here must be available to remind them of this vow. So shall it be. My prince, yes. think, think deeply. Remember the final words your father told you. I want you to save this discussion in that part of your memory where you store important records. His name is uh, Okunka Anokai of Umuakadiane. He restored my sight when I went blind. I offered him half of the kingdom, but he refused. If at any time you come across his son in future, do not drag anything with him. This family is forever indebted to them. I've heard you, Father. I promise to keep all you just told me alive in my memory. Thank you, my son. I see you're not an ordinary man. It will take me time to get healed of this emotional trauma. She is the best indeed. But I cannot ignore the sayings of my father. Go ahead. 
marry her. On this note, I will bless you. Your reign as king in Umolili will be the best in the history of your kingdom. I'll lose the throne of Umulili Kingdom as the next king if I don't get married before the end of tomorrow. The Obaze festival starts the day after tomorrow. You will not lose the throne, my prince. Some fush in life we cannot fight. All we can do is to live our lives. Live your life so I live my life. Aboma here is your destined wife. You must do all that is required to make her your wife before the sun goes down. The God of Thunder just confirmed it. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. You owe me no apology. The gods were only ahead of us. I bow on with the wisdom of men. So it is you. The gods have kept for me all those while. I've always adored you as the great king of Umul in the kingdom. Ours is the marriage of the gods. Never be fulfilled, but I try. 